Okay, so this is going to be a quick tease on WinLater XR using a new WinLater XR API. And as you can tell, right now I'm playing Halo. So CD copy. This is the normal PC game that you're watching right now. I could either use a gamepad, mouse and keyboard, or the controllers. So I've got my thumbstick to left, right, up, down. The right hand is the mouse. And I can shoot, I can chuck grenades, I can do all the rest of it. And this is just a normal PC game, so any PC game will display this way. WinLater XR has a few tricks that if you wanted to inject reshade 3D side by side into your games, you can do so, and you can use the control shortcut of the right grip trigger and the left thumbstick together to make that a 3D side by side image. And you can also click the left thumbstick to make it attach the camera to your face and be able to use mouse look with your head. So you can look up, down, left, right. Of course, you can combine those two with this 3D side by side to make that 3D freed off experience. No game mods are needed. That works on everything. Not people are sharing their experiences, what they can get away with, especially like racing games and stuff. It's a really cool way to play without any modification to your game. But in this video, I'm now going to show you how you can transform this experience into a VR experience. And this is the magic of WinLater XR. So let me exit this container. I'm going to be using the exact same game files. So there's no change to the game files at all. It's been patched with the WinLater XR API, and I've called this the WinLater XR Badass Edition. So this is incredibly cool. So exactly the same game files, just patched with the WinLater XR API. This is being done by Bigload. And again, this is super, super, super early, but already fully playable. So this is incredibly cool. So back in the same level, and as you can see, I've got four tracked hands, sixed off VR. So I'll dive out of this view so you can see me. You can see the hands moving in space, and I can move my head in space, duck, and do all the rest of that. So it's incredibly cool. It's a really nice way to play Halo. I mean, just ducking for cover, it just completely changes the game. And there's no PC at all involved here. There's no streaming from the PC. I've got no Wi-Fi, no cloud play. Everything is running on the headset. So this is a PC game with PC game files running a, essentially the PC VR mod, um, which has been converted um, to use WinLater XR API, which is just awesome. So there's a lot of work from many different people, but already, even though this is super early, it's playable. It looks great. I can't wait for people to check this out. So this is going to be for Quest, Pico, and even a Play for Dream, I would imagine. But again, you're going to need testers for the Play for Dreams, quite an obscure headset right now. But there's no reason why this is not going to play excellent for everyone on release, given how much progress has been made in such a short amount of time. It's just awesome. So I hope that gives you some insight into what WinLater XR can offer. Just completely changes the game. It's an absolute legit game changer. So, Halo, coming soon.